In this video, I'm going to talk about two different ways to describe where on the Earth's surface a particular place can be found. Now, the first uh, method uh, is called a geographic coordinate system, and that tells us where a point is relative to the equator on the y-axis, so it tells us how far north or south from the equator a particular location is, and on the x-axis it tells us how far east or west a location is relative to the Greenwich meridian. So that's a line passing north-south through Greenwich uh, in southeast London. Now the equator sort of makes sense as a reference point because it's halfway between the north and the south pole. The Greenwich meridian is completely arbitrary as a reference point, but it's widely accepted. And so when you see uh, coordinates expressed as uh, longitude and latitude, then you can assume that's relative uh, to the equator and to the Greenwich meridian. So you'll often see uh, locations on the Earth represented using latitude and longitude. And sometimes you'll see them represented like this. So these are degrees, minutes and seconds. So degrees are, are divided up into minutes and minutes are divided up into seconds. So these are the coordinates for the Gilles Dando Institute in London. But it's difficult for computers to handle data in this format and so actually you'll probably more often see degrees represented uh, in this format with decimal degrees so we can say that the uh, Gilles Dando Institute is 51.52 degrees north of the equator and at 0.13 degrees west of the Greenwich Meridian. So in decimal degrees, locations that are west of the Greenwich Meridian or south of the equator have negative values and locations that are east of the Greenwich Meridian and north of the equator uh, have positive values. Now, lots of geographic data you can find online use latitude and longitude to describe where on the earth particular places are. But degrees of longitude and latitude are not very useful units for lots of common tasks. So if you want to know the distance between two locations, it's not very useful to know that they are 2.13 degrees away from each other. You want to express that distance in some everyday unit of length, like kilometres. Similarly, if you want to count how many crimes have occurred within 500 metres of a metro station, for example, and then you want to draw a 500 meter buffer around that location. You don't want to be having to uh, work out that that might be a 0 0.0015 degree buffer around a location. So this brings us on to the second type of coordinate system, which is known as a projected coordinate system. And what this does is it translates latitude and longitude into some meaningful uh, distance, often meters, or in the United States it's uh, more commonly feet. I'm going to use the British National Grid as an example, but almost all countries have their own national grids that are equivalent to, to this, and they all use the same principle. Um, the way that points are located within one of these national grids or regional grids um, is first of all to choose an origin point. So for the British National Grid, the origin point is in the, uh, in the Atlantic Ocean, to the southwest of, uh, of England, and then every point in Great Britain can be referenced relative to that origin point. So the Gildando Institute in London is 182.3 kilometers north of the origin point and 529.8 kilometers east of the reference point. And these are known as Eastings and Northings, or as the X and Y uh, coordinates, depending on the terminology used in a particular uh, national grid. And we can represent every point in Great Britain using these Eastings and Northings, but it only works for the area that it's designed for. So this only really works for Great Britain. And that's for two reasons. One is the projection that's chosen. Uh, the, it is chosen to minimize distortion in the area the grid was designed for. And secondly, if we try to use this for places outside the grid area, then we end up dealing with negative numbers. So this, can't, this British National Grid can't be used for Northern Ireland, for example, because some locations in Northern Ireland are west of the origin point, and so they would have negative uh, coordinates. In summary, these are the two types of coordinate system. Geographic, using latitude and longitude. 
projected relative to a particular origin point. Lots of raw spatial data, uh, particularly that you'll be downloading from, from the internet, uses longitude and latitude. And so we'll often need to transform data from a geographic coordinate system to a relevant projected system for the area that we're mapping.